Alright guys, we need to step it up a notch. So now we're going to be dealing with polynomials in the denominator. So remember you guys, all we're doing in these problems is, to, is figuring out how to form a common denominator. Okay, so again, we don't care about the numerators right now. All we're caring about is the denominators and how eventually we're going to make a common denominator if our fractions do not already have one. Okay, so let's start with our steps. Look in here now. Okay, it says if any factor repeats in one of the denominators, write the factor once and raise it to an exponent. I don't see any factors repeating here, and I don't see any factors repeating here. Okay, now, this one was kind of already done for us. Let's say that in this one we would have had x plus 2 times x plus 2. Let's say we factored it and we got x minus 3 times x plus 2 times x plus 2. Well, guess what? We would need to write these as 1x plus 2 raised to an exponent of 2. Okay, but again, this one kind of already did it for us. Okay, but if it was like that, this is what you would do. Okay, so step one's done, though. Okay, so now it says list all the different factors in each denominator. So I'm going to grab one of every different thing I see. And remember, if we see one that's in common between each of the denominators, we must pick the one with the highest exponent. So let's see what happens. All right, I see an x plus 4 here. No x plus 4 is over here. So I'm going to list x plus 4. Bam. That one's done. Okay, I see an x plus 2 here and here. <gasps> what do I do? There's one in each denominator. <gasps> well, looking at step 3, you have to pick the one with the highest exponent. So I'm going to have x plus 2 because those are both in common between my denominators. But the one with the higher exponent is the one that's squared. So I'm going to write x plus 2 squared. Bam. So now my x plus 2's are taken care of. So the only thing left is x minus 3, and it's not shared between my denominators. So I'm just going to list x minus 3. All right, and they're already all multiplied together. So guess what, you guys? This is my common denominator. Super duper scooter.